looks like one of my favorite clubs um robert johnson is maybe potentially reopening very soon they put together a very cryptic instagram um series of instagram posts here three of them one saying hey hello one saying inhale exhale and the other saying we are ready for the floor um if i'm not mistaken robert johnson was one of the only nightclubs especially of the big popular ones that didn't do many live streams i think they might have done one and i'm, I'm not even sure where it is i haven't even been able to replay it anywhere if you know where it is and you can find it let me know it might be on their facebook account I'm not too sure but i didn't see it on youtube but they didn't do any live streams anywhere and again it's really disappointing they didn't do that because robert johnson is one of the most beautiful nightclubs that exists in the world right it's definitely rated very highly i've been there myself i went in 2015 if i'm not mistaken i've got the page yeah yeah i went to 2015 march i went to this this weekend there on the 5th of march 2015 i saw um rarish and priscilla play obviously kind of you know the guys that come from the school of ricardo verlo but especially rarish he's got the mannerisms and the style of dancing very very akin to a ricardo people basically call him like he's basically you know copying him but i don't know maybe it's just like a coincidence who knows and i also saw arm play there too um, if i'm not mistaken arm is a resident there so is um gerd jansen and people like that that are kind of discovered through that yeah of course you've got gerd jansen there who also play people like Zip and shit so um for the most part it's a fairly house centric nightclub um which is kind of um, different for germany for the most part you would think of germany you think of techno you think of that sort of music but frank i'm um, sorry um, robert johnson is known for having really great djs play in terms of mostly house music it's also again one of the most world renowned um nightclubs especially for its sound its layout its location it kind of overlooks the kind of river again a river a lake over that you kind of see where the smoking area is you can kind of look over during when the sun sets it's open all weekend um they're very picky on the door still by getting in again a brilliant a brilliant brilliant nightclub the only thing i remember of it being a bit sketchy was that i went obviously this is the kind of one of the first times i went kind of abroad to go clubbing on my own so about six years ago right so i went and when I went, I didn't really know how to do the thing properly. And obviously, when you go and travel and you go to these nightclubs, it's probably advantageous, especially if you're going to go to places like Germany, to try, especially if you want to go during a weekend, to probably try and do a late Thursday or an early Friday departure and then try and come back, if you can, on the latest plane on the Monday usually or if you can afford do maybe the tuesday morning because usually their parties run from basically friday night all the way till monday morning there's a series of parties happening somewhere around there and of course if you go to place at berlin or bergheim specifically on the saturday that party runs all the way until monday morning so if you can stay up as much and you've got the endurance you can stay up all the way until monday so it's probably beneficial to try and get the last train or the last plane out on that monday night or to try and get one in a monday morning so you just fresh and obviously take an extra day off and you can come back to work maybe on a wednesday and i didn't know that so i just went on the friday came back on the sunday so just flipping bad bad news and also i didn't know that the flight that leaves london the one that i took which is an easy jet one i think it doesn't actually st- land in the center of frankfurt it sort of lands on the outskirts kind of similar to like gatwick in in london right or even not gatwick maybe luton's were way way far and the bus journey is like an hour to get into um the city center of frankfurt and then of course i didn't know much about the city i just kind of i think if, I, if i'm not mistaken i found out about robert johnson through basically ra when ra used to be good they had this amazing feature about robert johnson and i think about um atta who runs it and about all the cool little merch things they do and you know flyers and shit just re- a really cool feature on robert johnson i remember reading it thinking oh this is awesome I'm getting really inspired and i read other interviews of other djs who spoke really glowingly about the club and i just went i didn't know anything about the city nothing and when i went there and i arrived I find out it's a flipping the financial district of basically um, the financial capital of Germany. And it's also a very different city to Berlin, like completely different. It's basically full of skyscrapers and shit. And then on the other side or right next to it, there's loads of whorehouses and shit, loads. Like where I stayed in some hostel, I think it's like a generator hostel, one of those ones. 
basically you know you, you look at one side there's loads of really shiny kind of banks and buildings and whatnot right and investment firms and shit and on the other side there's a whole row of basically whole houses and then on each side road of the whole houses there's loads of crackheads in there shooting up and shit just looking awful like crackheads i've never seen like you know those proper zombie ones not the ones we have here in london that kind of look all right from afar and when you get up close you can basically see their hollow cheeks but these are ones you can see from afar that were really struggling and i didn't know there's, there's a big drug problem there there, obviously loads of issues with you know um what you call it with sex work and all that stuff no you call it would you even call that sex work what would you call that you'd call that a version of people smuggling in it probably um those guys out in front of the door who basically call you over say stuff like, hey man black boy what's up man what's up man you from london come in you want some fun like i don't know that kind of like you know i beef a sort of calling over for you to come in i'm like i'm not bad to pay 50 euros to have some you know girl that's probably 16 grand on me or something i'm not having that from the middle from you know from what you call it from eastern europe it's not going to be a vibe so that was a real culture shock that was a real kind of waking you know, whoa frankfurt was nothing like this other place i've been to but the club itself was just beautiful 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 club i really recommend you check it out the sound systems are quite incredible um where it is walking up the stairs to go and try and get in um the people at the door were lovely uh, the drinks were well priced like just a incredible incredible place i've met a lot of brits over there of course as well when i went in there it was just an incredible vibe i really really liked it so yeah rumors are or rumors you know this post basically proves that quite possibly the, sh the club's going to reopen can't wait obviously i'm in my kind of techno tourism you know or dance music nightclub tourism vibe again so i'm definitely going to visit very soon and i recommend if you're a fan of dance music and you love nightclubs and you want to go to somewhere a bit different um you want especially in germany you want to have a different vibe and you especially if you're a fan of places in germany like palomas and shit right where they have a little bit more housey sort of vibe and it's not so dark and techno-ish like all the other places definitely recommend you check out robert johnson um and again they've got a great store they sell great merch they've got great little books and stuff they have like just it's one of the better 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 run places i think so definitely check it out if you haven't definitely check it out if you have